Hi, so this is um, a demonstration of Great Car Basic. This is actually a solution using a DH22 temperature and relative humidity uh, solution. It's actually um, got um, a couple of uh, switches on it, which I'll go into in a moment, but essentially it's a uh, data locker and display unit. What have we got? We've actually got a, um, a pick. Um, it's a 19F37, using 94% of it, using Great Car Basic from May of um, 2014. Got, I got the sensor, I got a GLCD, and that's actually an ST7920, but you could use a KS0108 device if you wanted to. It's not an issue with that, I just happen to have the cheap one laying around. Um, two switches, one's a menu option, and one is a um, selection option and I've got a clock and the clock all the clock is doing is generating a one second pulse I just count those because I do measure in the menus you'll see that I measure every 5, 15 seconds or every minute or whatever it just needs a clock externally to guarantee that that's correct I could use an internal interrupt but I found that that was drifting slightly I was making assumptions so I just took a really simple hack and made it by one megahertz pulse and that's really simple I can post how to do that really simple um, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And let's um, here's the, here's the first screen. Okay. Um, this is actually uh, the starting screen. Um, if I just reset it and let it run, you get the start screen, and then you get a bar graph. And this is uh, now showing a bar graph of the last ten readings. This is currently 56% humidity in, in the in the lab here. Uh, if I press the selection button, it will take a sensor reading. Now, it's taking a manual sensor reading, and you can see there's an LED down here, just to indicate that it's actually toggling between the two. Secondly, there is a pixel that's flashing up here, just to say that the pick's still running, okay, every second, okay. So I know that the pick's running, and it stores these values in a bar graph array, and then transfers them into uh, a a hundred or a sample um, set in the EEPROM and then recalls them later on. Let me show you what it's been doing. Um, it's been running a while here in the basement and this is the menu. Basically I've got a menu I can call up at any time and what's interesting about the menu is um, it is that it's live so if the relative humidity changes or the temperature changes even though you've left it on this menu it, it, it actually updates it and stores the information so it's, a, it's live it's not it doesn't sit there it's actually running and if i show you um the timer for instance okay the time it's doing it every five seconds every 15 minutes at the moment if i set that to five seconds and then every five seconds now it will take a reading there we go five is up if i put it back on this main menu we'll see that this led will toggle down here and it will take a reading. There we go, 57. If I breathe on the sensor, it makes it take, it's gone up to 58. So what we've got is a these are set of menus are built, and I'm pressing the selection button, and I can show that in the line graph. Um, so relative humidity is currently at 91%. And it's still taking a reading every um, five seconds. What is interesting is that this is um, historical data. It's got 100 samples in it. And you can see uh, that it's currently set to 90% humidity. And ten, uh, units of uh, 90 and 10. It actually um, has a range of 100 to minus 50 for humidity and for temperature. Um, and the temperature is actually indicated by the H and C. So you can see it's currently sitting at a constant 22, 23 degrees. And this is all auto scaling. So what do I mean by that? Is if I go into the menus, I can set the scale up to 100. In here, it will set it to 100. On the left, on the right hand side, if I go into the minimum, I can set it to minus 50 if I want to. Be interesting to see what it does. 
what and all these characters are all sort of graphically drawn okay so what i mean by that is is that um i don't decide the the, the data is setting uh, out the um positions of the, some of the characters on the screen here okay um so you'll see that h rise up in line with the last position of the graph uh, so what happens is you've only got a couple of samples it, it obviously doesn't fill in the whole graph here but it's actually uh, showing the last 100 samples I've currently got 100 samples running I'll just open up that menu it's quite fast um, I'll set the minimum back to something that I like I like it to be actually about 10 is what I really want to be where I leave it. Sample size is shown there. I'll have a look at that in a moment. There we go. Oh, and uh, I don't need a hundred percent. And you could add more you could add more presets to be quite frank, okay? It's not hard to add all that stuff. That's where we were. And number of samples. We can set uh, samples to a hundred. Uh, that's stored in EEPROM. Or 25, I'll leave it as it is as it's running. Um, so, as I said previously, the, the menus are this uh, graph is all um, auto scaling, um, should work to a minus 50, as I said. Let me just check that, that timer, looks good, yeah, it's ticking away. These are the menus again. I can uh, as I showed you earlier on, I set the sample size here to a sample delay to 15 minutes. And that's only one menu, you just send it a set of parameters that are set quite easily. Um, but it's very simple to use. A bit of debounce on that switch there could be a bit better. And that's what we've got. So this is the bar graph for the last hundred, uh, last um, set of temperatures. A feature I could add in was the fact that you can clear this down, but uh, I haven't added that. If I show you, oh, I'm so sorry, I can show you the bar graph, and then I'll just switch that over to temperature. You would uh, select it in here. I'll just say this and there we go you can see that I've got 55 57 and 23 degrees C up here in the C and the clock's now running um, every 15 seconds or 15 minutes sorry and it won't make a reading until that occurs and it's hardly likely to occur whilst we're sitting here on this demo I'll go back into the line graph and what else haven't I shown you? You can reset the defaults. What I mean by reset the defaults, it will wipe all the data and reset everything back to uh, pretty standard settings. It's pretty well documented in um, in the code. The code itself is pretty extensive in terms of um, it's a um, couple of thousand lines long. I had no issues with it at all. Um, the that, that minor issue that term we're looking at, at the moment, but essentially um, it's um, pretty stable code. So that's a quick demo of the um, Great Cal Basic um, DH22 GLCD graphing solution, and let's call that a wrap.